Welcome back. Hello. How are you feeling? Don't worry, it's okay. I don't remember either. Over there. It seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst. One that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way. So, it is you. <laughs> Here, this is for you. A new spring, and a fresh source of labor. Ha-ha! <laughs> we really hit the jackpot! Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> all dried up. Just like the others. Y yeah all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... <gasps> You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. 
You see, it's only a short time before the Collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there! You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the Hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. You heard him. Move it! Ouch. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Oh, didn't they pass us earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? <laughs> that could have gone better. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. You just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. Once someone is lost, they can never come back. Cast aside your doubt. She's all right. By the way, both of you. All revenants must pay a levy. There are no exceptions. A vestige. Best to stay away from those stones. Anyone who touches them is defiled, transformed into the lost. Don't listen to their whispers. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. Someone has to be sacrificed. Wait, what are you... Let go! It'll swallow you up! It's all right. You can do it. <laughs> what the hell? 
What the hell was that? It was a memory, carved into that vestige, by the one who left it behind. I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it, too. We both melted into you. I can't believe this. What a power. Come with me. I know a spot where we can rest. I'm Louie. I'm researching blood beads. Nice to meet you. Ugly, isn't it? The Red Mist showed up a short time after the Queen was defeated. And when it did, it trapped everyone and everything inside, giving birth to the Society of Revenants ruled by Silva. The Jail of the Mists. As time passed, that was the name people gave to the world inside. The creatures trapped inside the miasma wander in a never-ending cycle of death and rebirth. Always searching for blood beads to sustain them. Revenants need to have blood. Without it, they turn into those creatures we call the Lost. The Revenants who captured you were desperately searching for blood, terrified of losing themselves. It's a common fate these days. But ripples are beginning to form. You cleared the miasma and revitalized the blood spring. Where did you learn to do that? You've forgotten? <laughs> Anything you do remember? It's unusual, losing so much of your memory. I suppose it was the same for her. You remember that scene we witnessed at the Vestige? That kind of stuff happens every day here. Silva has taken most of the humans who survived under his protection, so revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. But, well, nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silva created by levying and distributing blood beads won't last much longer either. The world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about blood beads. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. If you could help us... Well, we'd be drawn into a bitter conflict. Still... The truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. Will you join us? <sighs> Thanks. So, it's a done deal? <laughs> well then, from now on, you're one of us. Yakumo Shinonome. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you in action.
Let's get right into it. Here's what's going on. We're studying blood beads and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. We've made a few discoveries. First of all, we found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. And so far as we can determine, every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. Also, after comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly comprised of the same substances. In other words, we can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. We think that means there must be a source somewhere, a kind of headwaters for the blood beads. Now that we have you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Right? We want to check out the old city ruins first. Sorry for the rush, but we should head out as soon as you're ready. That's something. <laughs> Expectations exceeded. That settles it. You are absolutely vital to our operation. There are more blood springs ahead, but the miasma is blocking the way forward. Do you think you could clear it for us again? Thank you. We know where two springs are thanks to past expeditions. Let's go have a look at them. The territory up ahead is teeming with the lost. Watch yourself. Hey, what is it? You okay? Yo, Louie. You smell that? Yeah. Human blood. An escapee. Now, where did she run off to? Huh? <laughs> hey, chumps! What the hell are you doing here? None of your business. Oh, really? Then tell me this. Why would scum like you have the sweet stink of a human on you? The girl belongs to us. Put your paws on our property and your ash. That clear? <sighs> Fresh blood is some powerful stuff. You hanging in there? So, what's the plan now? We know it's just a matter of time until they find that missing human. You know the plan. Hell yeah. Let's hope she hasn't been devoured by horrors yet. Just cut straight through the mist. I'll take a bit more than that to keep us from getting lost. Let's take a break here. Oh, this? It's called onigiri. It's a kind of food that's easy to carry around. Not that there's any point in eating food for a revenant. Although we may thirst for blood, we never grow hungry. Still, I think that makes eating all the more meaningful for us. We fight. We drink blood. We revive. We fight some more. Our lives are pretty much one endless loop. But every time you go around, you almost forget. 
that we were all human once. If I completely lost the memory of my human past, I wouldn't be me anymore. I would just be... something in the shape of me. I'd look like a revenant, but on the inside I'd be no different than the lost. What's the point of living like that? I served in the army, back before I became a revenant. We always used to eat these things when we were out on missions. I guess... it helps me remember. It was a miserable time, but I made some good friends that I shouldn't let myself forget. This stuff doesn't really taste that great, but eating it always reminds me of those friends. So, I guess you could say it helps me stay me. It's been an important companion in my life. Okay, all set. Come on, let's get going. There's a blood spring up ahead. Be careful not to lose your bearings, all right? If we get split up in this mist, we may never be able to find each other again. Let go of me! We lost the race. Well, strength succeeds where speed fails. Wait, this place is... Hurry it up, damn wretch! Without your blood, we'll all suffer! Or didn't you think about that when you ran off? Take him somewhere safe. You owe me for this. You awake? You? I remember you. Where's the girl? Answer me! Where did you take her? We're taking custody of the girl. That human belongs to us. We will take her back. Humans aren't property. They have the same right to live that any of us do. Don't give me that noble act. They have no rights. And why shouldn't we feed on them? We're the ones keeping them safe after all. Why were we kicked out of our graves? Who did we die for, again and again, at the Queen's hand? We writhe with this terrible thirst. We live in fear of joining the ranks of the Lost, and for whose sake? It's all in the service of humans. If blood is the only price they have to pay, then they have a pretty good deal. That doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want with them. And what about the rights of Revenants? Huh? It's not like we're choosing to live this way because it's such a barrel of laughs! That should be enough to get you through a month or so. Whoa, whoa! Hold on a minute! Just make sure that you and I never cross paths again. This is your one and only warning. No way! The Crimson Sword?! I guess we'll be rationing for a while. Oh well. What is lost can be found again, huh? I swear I'll end it. The Revenant's suffering must end. She must have fled deeper inside. I only hope she's alright.
Okay. We can trace the flow of the blood beads from here. Just a sec. Give me a moment to finish this, then we can head out. Our destination is this way. This should get us there. We set? All right then. I know you're there. What are you? Stay back! I'm the one who decides how I live! I won't listen to you anymore! That's fine. Just put down the knife. I'm sick and tired of it! Day after day, having my blood sucked by every passing revenant! I'm not an animal! You're right. And we can help you. I know someone who can take you to one of the government shelters for humans. If you ask, they'll take you in and you'll be able to live in safety. What? You won't have to spend your days living in fear of revenants anymore. Although you will be asked to donate blood. It's... it's a trick. Do you really think I'm going to fall for that? Everything you need to know is on that paper. You're the one who decides how you live. But why? I think the time for sacrifices is over. That's all. All right, we should hurry. This place has changed completely too. Yeah. Seems like everything's changed since the Great Collapse. The only thing that stayed the same is our appearance. <sighs> Come on. We won't find the source by reminiscing. It's my fault. You say something, Louie? No. Why didn't I... Is this... is this really my... Nobody would want to relive that. I couldn't stop Cruz from going into a frenzy. So many people lost their lives, including my sister. I wanted to forget my frailty. But if we can find the source and ensure a stable supply of blood beads, then revenants will be freed from their thirst. Once that happens, there will no longer be any need for Silva's levy system, and humans and revenants will finally be able to live together in peace. I'm going to take responsibility for my past. I think it's the least I can do. Then stop talking about it. Let's get it done. Are we ending this nightmare or what? You can't charge forward if you're always looking back. Yeah, I know. I thought that I could save him just by giving him blood beads. That it would be enough. But I lacked true commitment to his survival. And in the end, that's what killed him. Actually, I heard another Revenant attacked him for those same blood beads shortly after, and he 
he became one of the lost. I won't let myself forget again. So, where are you dragging us off to next? What? The blood vein here leads to the old city ruins. Huh? Wait, hold on a second. Shouldn't it lead from the old city ruins? Singing. Hey, look at that. It's him. Careful. It's the hunter. Is that woman his partner? your story is, but let go of the woman. Now. What the? Where'd they go? What just happened? All right, I'm currently tracing the spring's flow. Just hold on, give me a moment. Wait, what's going on here? We have to go back to the old city ruins. There must be something we missed there. Anyway, let's get going. Searching for blood beads on your own? That's awfully bold. Listen, no one here wants this to turn violent, so just hand over your blood beads. What if we don't want to? Then I'll take them. You're too late. A kid? Get away from Mia! Me! 
Nicola! What are you doing out here? Because you... <coughs> He's on the verge of a frenzy. That's why you want the blood beads, isn't it? If you lay a finger on him, I'll carve out your heart. Uh, here, take this. That's for him. Give it to him, quick. No! You haven't had anything to drink, Mia. Don't be silly. Go on, it's for you. The symptoms aren't fading. Why? It's not enough, that's all. I... I just have to find more for him. Hey, come on. Going out on your own is crazy. Thanks for your concern, but we'll be all right. Come on, let's go. So, I don't think... Yeah, I know. Let's go after them. Run off to these ashes are the boys. Something's coming. Was all of that? Damn, she's losing herself. She needs blood. Beads. Right. Then we're going back to base.
I want to keep Mia safe. Dream? But that means... What exactly is going on here anyway? Why does every blood vein we find lead back to the old city ruins? The key to finding the source is there. That's all I can say for certain. Huh, sure. But we've been everywhere we can... Try here. You know the statue of the goddess in the ruins? There's a mechanism inside of it. I see. So that's our ticket. A hey Are you sure you should be up and about? Yeah, it's okay. Sorry for causing you so much trouble. I'm fine now. I hope I'll get a chance to repay you. That information is more than enough. Mm. There is a favor I'd like to ask. I'd like you to tell me how to get here. Please, it's... It's really important to me. I'll pay you back, I promise. I'd love to tell you. If I knew. I'm not sure of the path there myself. Other than that, it's sealed off by my asthma. I see. Sorry, I don't mean to make demands of you. It's not impossible, though. We were able to pass through the miasma. <laughs> Thanks to our friend here. If you decide to stay with us, I'm sure we'll find the way to your snowy mountain eventually. Of course, you would need to help us out with our objective first. I'm glad to do whatever you need me to. As long as I end up reaching my destination. We have a deal. Good to have you along. Likewise. Well, great. I guess that's settled then. You are now officially one of our friends. Friends? I'm Yakimo. This brainiac here is Louie. And... Huh? Where'd Murasame and Io get to? I mean, if that's okay. It is. 
Actually, I don't think we've gotten your name yet. Oh, I'm Mia Karnstein, and I'm good in a fight if you guys ever need the help. Yeah, you sure did a number on Yakumo. Seriously, that really hurts. <laughs> Glad to have you on our side, Mia. Everyone's stuff is fixed up and ready to go. Oh, you're an angel, Murasame. Sorry we're always piling up the work on you. Well, you'll find the source for sure this time, right? I look forward to hearing your report when you get back. Look at all this stuff. Did you gather it yourself? Oh, you're feeling better. That's great. I was worried about you. Hey, you and I are about the same age, aren't we? We're gonna be besties, I can tell. Uh, she's like that with everyone. Just smile and nod and it'll be fine. Now, now, those aren't for you, Eo. We wouldn't want you to get hurt. That's right. No need to rush recklessly into battle. There are people waiting for us at home, after all. And without them, well, where would we be? Oh, Yakumo looks sad. <laughs> Give me a break. And don't look at me like that. It's no big deal, okay? My friends are important. They're like family to me. My friends were all scattered after the Great Collapse. I don't even know if any of them survived. But every time we go somewhere new, I keep an eye out for them. Anyway, I count myself lucky. I went through some really nasty rejections back when I became a Revenant. Honestly, I was right on the brink of losing myself. It was my friends that pulled me back, kept me safe. <laughs> Bunch of sentimental fools. I'll keep them safe, no matter what happens. That's how much my friends mean to me. And now I've got three more sheep to look after. A man's work is never done. So just don't worry about it. Well, you're in awfully high spirits. What do you mean? Normally, you've got eyes like a dead fish. But now, you actually seem alive for once. I'm just glad you found some friends to cheer you up. Friends? I suppose you're right.
So, every spring we've found so far leads back to here. Come on, let's head in. The source can't be far off. I cannot understand. The actions you've chosen to take, they can bring nothing but further disaster to this land. I cannot allow that mistake to repeat itself a second time. Stand by their side and attend to them. That is enough. It is the duty with which we have all been entrusted. If you lose your way, if you take one false step, it will lead to that same result. Let us be off. The two of us have our own duty to fulfill. Control of the relic. What's wrong? Silva is pulling in the relic. don't have a lot of time. Hey, kid, can you handle this? you have inherited from them are now, by your will, bound to your flesh, and vain sleeps again. 
for what might be called forever. Thirst creates dread. Revenants desperately fight ever larger numbers of the lost for what few blood beads they can find. But for now, please rest peacefully until the time of your awakening comes once again. Don't worry, I will always be with you.